Hello everyone, this is Jessica with Stamp Blessing. I hope you're enjoying the Everything is Rosy projects. I am so excited to show you today how I'm creating the front cover of my 6x6 mini album titled Brave. I also want to show you a technique with the shimmer paint rose gold together with the embossing paste and I want to show you how I created some vellum flowers for several things, vellum and cardstock flowers with the dice from this set. I hope you enjoy this and if you do, leave me a comment below. Let me share with you how I'm planning on doing this um, mini album for the Everything is Rosy event. I chose some of my cardboard that comes with different packaging like the designer shoes paper from Stamping Up. It is a pretty good cardstock right here, or cardboard is what I call it. Some has some white, others don't, this one doesn't. And I decided just to cut it six by six because my album is gonna be a six by six. And I do not go through the hassle of adding more inches because that makes it harder for me to do all the math on how to put my cinch loops right here, the wires. I will be using my cinch machine as usual. I love doing mini albums, so I do it very often and I'll be putting it this on the side. I counted eight and I will be using eight, so it's not gonna cover the whole border. It's gonna be like right there in the center and then I'll cut it right there. But for the beginning, I plan to use this and I know that I want to follow one of the sketches that I shared previously and it's right here. I'm going to be using the one that actually has the sinister's paper at the bottom, but I'm going to twist it and use it on the side. So you'll see me creating this in just a few minutes here. I also plan to use these tags that I am creating for my journaling. And many of these ones are gonna be popping out of the pages like this or hiding behind a picture. I may cut them shorter if I wish or I may hide them in other ways. I will also add some journaling in different creative ways. So just keep in touch with what I'm doing and you'll see the different ways I did. I decided to do one with a foil because it's so decorative and I can always either write on the back or I can put some paper on the front and journal on it. And I decided to use this new punch that it's coming in June. It's the, one of the only things I order from the pre-ordering and stamping up the delightful tag topper punch. That's how it's called. Delightful, isn't that cool? Delightful tag. So I will be using this one. The coolest thing is it has for three sizes. So I will be using, this is a two by five. This is how I'm cutting them, two by five for my journaling tags. And I just wanna have some already available for me and I'll just punch and that comes out right there. And I have some available now. You may be wondering, what are you gonna do with this writing on Night of Navy? No, most likely I'll just put a piece of Whisper White on top and journal on it or journal with white. Usually I like hiding my journaling. I don't, I don't put it out for everybody to see because it's private stuff or my family information or in this case, we are celebrating the victories that the Lord has given us. So definitely I will be hiding much of that and, uh, and just keeping it private. But I want to have some tags available for that. And if I come up with more ideas, then I will share them with you as well. I made a little package right here. You know that I have my little bag, the Courage Mini Album bag. And I'm actually going, I put everything on this, um, on this little acrylic, um, how do you call it, basket that I had already. I put some Whisper White and I'm using the heavy cardstock right here. I also cut some of my um, Melon Mambo and I will have some in Night of Navy. So I have all of my papers in there. I plan to create my title and many of my titles most likely will be stamped or die cut or with stickers that I have from other stores, but I will be naming this Brave. So I hope that you are inspired by this and you, if you've never done a mini album, do not be afraid. It is just a way of recording the victories that we've had through the years so that when we go through situations that are not rosy, that are not easy, you remember, hey, you've conquered 100% of the times that you've got through, gone through situations. And I want you to remember that with God's help, you can do it again. So let's start with this mini album right now. To bind my mini album, I know and I already chose that I will be using my cinch and some of the wires available for them. If you don't have this tool, you are able to also make some holes with a crop dial or some sort of hole puncher and put some loops or ribbon or however you decide to do, just be creative. In this case, I'm using six by six front 
and back covered. And I will center it on my cinch. This from here to here is seven inches. And this is only six. So I'm going to go from half an inch to six and a half. And that way I will position it right in the center. This has a little arrow here that tells me is the center. Apparently, this two right here are the center ones. But since it's two of them and the center's right in the middle, I'm gonna go with nine holes. So I'm gonna press one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm gonna do nine this way. Let's cut. And there I have my nine holes and it looks pretty centered. At first I thought I was gonna do eight, but this one looked too big right here and this one looks shorter. This looks way better. I will do this one as well. Position in the half inch and six and a half and I have my nine holes. There I have my front and my back cover. Last but not least, I will also do the front whisper white card base that I will be using. And all of my pages will have to go through this. After cutting the holes on each of my pages, and at the end, I won't do it right now, but just to show you, I chose this white wire and I know I will need nine of them. So I like putting it through and then bring my wire cutter and cut right here. There you go. And I am ready to start scrapbooking with my mini album. This will remain open for now until I have all of my pages done. I like to do it that way. And I choose all of my data signatures, paper and everything else. So you'll see the end result when everything is done. I'm so excited you're joining me for this. I am super excited with what I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to try something a little different for my album. This is the front cover of my page. And I plan to do this several times during the album, but I think having the shimmer paint Rose gold in our everything is rosy medley calls for some mixed media for something different that you could do in your cards or your mini album as well. So I brought one of my stencils. These are from the Pattern Party Decorative Masks. Okay, and I'll be using that one right now. And um, I plan to just add a little bit on this side, not the whole page, just a little bit of paste with the shimmer paste. So let's say, let's see how this goes. This is my embossing paste. I'm going to be mixing it with my rose gold. I'm doing it on camera. I've never done it before. So let's see how this goes, okay?
go, I would love to encourage you to go and read Deuteronomy chapter 28, the blessings for obedience. When you're obedient to the Lord, when you seek Him, when you want Him, when you just are really trying to do what is right, there's a lot of blessings and rewards that come with that. Check out some of them in chapter 28 of Deuteronomy. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. That was the verse 1. Verse 6 says, you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Verse 8 says, the Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hands to. Oh dear, look at verse 12. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season and to bless all the work of your hands. I want the blessing of the Lord in my hands. I'm sure you do too. So go read that chapter in the Word and be encouraged, be inspired. He is for you, never against you. Love you. Ciao, ciao.